men slept that the enemy came and planted tears he would not come if they were awake but while men slept while you slept the spirit of lust came into your life and you are amazed that as anointed as you are you are almost embarrassed to believe that you are still struggling with this you would never have imagined five years ago that you'll be the one needing this prayer while men slept all of a sudden the spirit of revelation that used to be mighty upon your life your ministry while men slept like samson while men slept the glory and the symbol of your strength went while men slept your prayer life went while men slept the humility that you always had that characterized your life you are even surprised to catch yourself now angry with people for not calling you apostle joshua selman while men slept there are certain things that show that a man is sleeping number one inactivity when men sleep they usually don't move they may move here and there that means that there is a relationship between movement and life could it be that certain levels of stagnation is not just demonic attack but it's a revelation first to you that is proof that you are sleeping while men slept the church stopped growing while the preacher slept members stopped coming if samson never slept his hair would never go for as long as he was awake bind his hand he will plug the chain the spirit of the living god never came upon people who slept there's only one occasion where god walked upon a man who was sleeping and that was to take something out of him it was god that caused him to sleep but men slept slumber was it not because the eyes of eli began to be dim that eli could no longer hear the voice of god the bible says his eye the symbol of his light and strength and glory began to be dim and eli was in the temple as a prophet but could not hear the voice of god again and a young boy samuel came and said eli i had a sound and something called my name eli said go and sleep god was asking someone to wake up from sleep and a prophet was telling him to go back to sleep number two when people sleep there is no longer awareness of their environment someone can be sleeping and you can step into the room and even remove money from his pocket and he will not know imagine the kind of sleep samson slept that the even the 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 movement of a knife could not wake him that was a deep sleep at least there are some of us here that you sleep and even if the door is open you wake up that means the kind of sleep that samson slept was assisted by the devil it couldn't have been a normal sleep that your whole hair was being scraped your glory the same way you are watching your prayer life go down and you are not aware it's a spiritual sleep there is a slumber making it happen just because your eyes are awake does not mean you are awake awake thou that sleepest now is it not interesting that god is speaking to the person sleeping so he expects him to hear him awake you are sleeping so i'm standing i'm looking at jesus and jesus is saying joshua selman wake up you are sleeping and i'm saying ah jesus i'm with i'm with you and he says no you are sleeping there is no awareness when a man sleeps that's the same way the devil can be conspiring you're a man of god 
and you are watching the spirit of loss come to create a barricade and you are looking as if it doesn't matter it's not like you don't know but you don't know it's anytime you are insensitive to spiritual things is proof of slumber You had a covenant with God that you pray every 12 midnight and for two weeks you didn't do it and it doesn't matter I mean what is there Lord I can always make it back I just returned from a meeting I didn't even prepare but my God did you see the demonstration of the spirit in that meeting and then people will never know it's only you and God even when a plate is broken it can still hold food but it's not a justification to remain broken people don't eat the plates they eat the food so they don't know that under that plate is leaking it's supposed to be a secret between you and god that's the power of the secret place so he calls you and says my son you are doing well but there is a loophole here how you know that a man has woken up is you never see any spiritual deficiency for a long time you see pride for two weeks then you don't see the guy for three days he comes back and he's back again it's proof that he's awake you see lost here and there but he goes on a one week retreat and returns back fresh renewal over his vision you see distraction in ministry here and all of a sudden you won't see him again for three days and he returns back with absolute focus there are many of us you've not had a retreat for more than one year you have had a church retreat you have had a christian organization retreat but a time alone to say lord i need you i need you one of the ways you will know that you are in a state of spiritual slumber is when most of your life is seen by everyone a true spiritual man less than 30 percent of your life is what should be seen by others the greater part of your life is in the secret place that's the secret of true power when all of you is seen by every it's a sign that god is no longer seeing your face one of the proofs of slumber again is disorderliness have you seen someone go to sleep he lies down neatly on one side of the bed and wakes up on the other side on the floor you've seen that kind of sleep his first the leg will stretch carelessly and loosely and then the he will stretch around in his mind he's dreaming that the bed is still elongated and he wakes up and he's at the other side on the floor that's what can happen these are indices to measure slumber when God wants to deliver a man from slumber, he taps him. Wake up. Awake, thou that sleepest. Awake. 